Earth signs, welcome back to Majestic Notion. Welcome, guys. Um, this is the element readings, okay? So I will be doing a quick intro into seeing what earth signs are currently going through in this upcoming year in January, in 2021. And then I will do your earth signs individually, uh, Taurus, Virgo, and then Capricorn. So all of the timestamps will be below the video in the description box. But stick stick around with the intro first because it's going to connect to the other, you know, to your individual signs. And it's just a quick intro and just to see where your energies are at and what's happening with you guys. What's, you know, the main focus for you or the main energies you're in or will be dealing with. And then we'll break it down. Um, I'm going to start using my Intergalactic Tarot Plus Oracle. And then I'll be using the Light Seers for the intro okay and then we'll get into one of my new decks here buried alive rising of the phoenix number 13 the death series um this is not for sale yet i had to tweak just a few things but i'll let you guys know when that's ready i'll probably leave it in the community tab with a link to it and i'll tell you a little bit more about that it's a very empowering deck okay it is um has messages of you know it's called Buried Alive, Rising of the Phoenix, right? Of, you know, the, the one that finally, it was the straw that broke the camel's back to put you in, in a healing process. It, the rising of your higher self, a better version of you. So it has messages from the person that could be feeling guilty or remorse or treated you badly. You know, it also has empowering message of yourself, you know, whatever you've been through. If whether you're in the process beginning to heal and going through a transformation or you know where you've been and where you're going it has messages from spirit um, this is a very channeled deck for me okay I I had messages from spirit in my dream dreams and in the dream state and meditative state as well as some of my messages and messages from your twin flame as well but it could there could also be messages here from like a karmic soulmate you dealt with someone you're not going back to okay like someone narcissistic could be as well um that you're not going back to okay um it's very empowering and it just really lets you know where you're at in your process right now what you've gone through already where you're headed and you know spirit messages as well so it's it's just packed it's dark and light energies basically so i'll let you guys know when that's ready it took me a while to work on that because i wanted to make sure it came out right that's why i'm tweaking a few things and um i'll let you guys know when that's up so anyways let's get into this guys let's see what your energy is looking like and what you're currently going through as far as the new year for my taurus virgo and capricorn so spirit, what's going on with my earth signs? What's happening? Let's bring some new energy here into the new year. Release what no longer serves us. Take what's good and leave the rest, right? Whatever lessons we learned, let's go with it. Let's not retract. Retract. Let's see. All right. So we have the five of wands and what I just heard is many suitors and competitions okay uh, five of wands we have a, like an emperor here I don't know if you guys can see that and then we have a woman with a sword here and then we have somebody creeping up here in the corner you know it could be a karmic for some of y'all <laughs> or just people trying to get at both of you uh, you know, I'm feeling hot commodity here. So many suitors, many competition. Um, uh, there might be some. There might be some arguments here. Um, I'm hearing differences, differences of beliefs. It's you against the world. Also, I'm feeling like um, there could be a connection coming together here, where you guys are going to have to protect each other from the naysayers the haters you know 
that that's what I'm feeling here. It's like it, you, but I feel like you guys are very much going to be in your power. So you're gonna stand up, no matter what, for what you believe is right and what you believe in. Well, that's a lot for that card. A lot of energy here, Earth signs. So let's see. Now there we go, Queen of Pentacles, finances. No wonder. No wonder many suitors here. This is a good energy to be in. Look at that treasure chest with a ladybug. A ladybug. <laughs> hey, maybe we're talking about deers too. Um, it, we're, we're, we're up in up our game here in 2021, okay? This is stability. Look at her. Male or female. Okay. Chilling. Unbothered. In your strength here uh, so ladybug luck on your side all right we could be learning how to create more abundance in 2021 as well but I feel definitely a lot of competition this is somebody with a lot of self-worth so self-worth is definitely on the table you guys are feeling gonna be in your power here uh, balance very grounded very stable and there could be many people vying for your attention this could be in career as well people wanting to give you opportunities and you're gonna have to choose okay just a lot of lot going on wow look at this yeah five of swords what the hell definitely a lot of suitors here i'm telling you people vying for your attention five of wands five of five of pen five of swords but what i see here is you're like Hey, I ain't got nothing to do with me. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I'm just here to make my money. Take care of myself. Self-affirmations. You know, looking good. Feeling stable. Uh, Self-nurturing. And uh, people over here are like... Rah, 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 rah. <laughs> I want to go out with her or him. That's my man. That's my girl. Oh, Lord. And I just feel like there's going to be some lying here. Oh, I used to go out with her. I, somebody's coming up big time here. Okay. Oh, I used to. Oh, we used, we did it. You, when you know that's a damn lie. Mm -hmm. Somebody's going to be lying. I just feel like somebody's rising. And um, there's going to be a lot of people trying to hold you back naysayers there's going to be a lot of haters and then there's going to be a lot of suitors and competition vying for you guys attention good lord what a way to start this but you're in your power yeah look at this the hierophant taurus energy definitely somebody wants they see you as wife material you have a lot of suitors that are going to be fighting for you guys i'm telling you or you're going to be fighting for someone someone's attention wow yeah, this is relationship. People want to be in a relationship with this person, male or female. The matrix. Mm -hmm. Oppression, limited beliefs, cannot see past the veil, and entrapment. And yeah, some of these people definitely low vibed. You know what I'm getting too is that there's some low vibes and you're like unbothered. You're like, nope, I don't think so. I don't want that. And then there might be a significant competition here. For the person you guys are either going after or for you. Okay? It goes either way. And I'll let you just marinate on that real quick. I mean, good lord. It's like, I just feel like you're just chilling. And, and the, the, the storm is all around you, but you're in the middle of it where there's nothing happening <laughs> except for your focus on you and your abundance. That's what I see. You know, being the best version of yourself to attract this person that is your ride or die, you know, your um, partner in crime here is what I'm feeling. Okay? And you guys are like high up there with the sun in a mountain. And I feel like all these people are down here. You know, in the matrix. Talking all that crap. You know, I just feel like somebody makes it through here, this little creepy thing here. And um, 
Somebody's trying to make it through. Oh, I'm getting all kinds of weird energy with that too. Uh, as far as collectively around the world. Definitely 3D, 5D energy here. For sure. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what else is going on here. And it got nothing to do with you guys. You guys are away from the drama, but somebody's trying to creep in. One more shuffle. What's going on with the earth signs? A lot of energies here. There is a significant person coming to you. I feel like they have to go through a few people here. Some of you guys may need a bodyguard up in here. Just saying. Ooh, yeah, that's probably somebody trying to creep in here. Manipulator, trickster, and liar. Mm. Yeah, somebody's pissed. Into the deep, submerged, and lessons. Okay, so some of you are learning some lessons here from some kind of karmic tie. You see the chains on both cards? You had some kind of karmic tie to some kind of um, either narcissist or karmic soulmate energy here, or just karmic. So when we go break it down individually with Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, we're going to see what this is all about. And many suitors here, boy. Nine of Swords. Yeah, again, you see all these hands on your window, and like there's like swords here blocking it also there could be a lot of anxiety going outdoors because there's a lot of rioting here with the matrix so you guys might feel safer indoors is what I'm feeling uh, definitely there could be some more riots going on in 2021 absolutely I would expect this the next three to four years okay so you know, the world just ain't the same anymore. Um, but you could still work on your stability and maybe work from home more virtually. Definitely get away from the manipulators here. There's a lot of evolution going on within the world as well. Some, some are going to grow and some won't. Some are going to get it and get out of these ties and some won't. As you can see here with Five of Swords. Okay. Low vibes. There's also a lot of drama involved with this manipulator. So there could be somebody coming back into your life. Because they know someone is stepping into your life. It's almost like they picking it, they're picking it up intuitively. Let's see what else. Nine of Cups. Yeah, wish fulfillment. Nice. So see. Even through the mess and the drama... You guys are going to have a wish fulfillment here. Wow. The Empress. Look at this. <laughs> Definitely competition. Somebody's vying for your attention. So, gentlemen, um, for those who are males, this could be you and your power, or you are looking at somebody here that you want to wife up. Okay? And for the ladies, definitely uh, you could be in your power here, and you're going to become this empress and have wish fulfillment when it comes to a relationship and your finances i'm definitely you're like high your house is high in the sky here you're above like you're in like a mountain here there's an ocean back here we see a, a dragon here an earth dragon a lot of stability i'm feeling a lot of 5d energy here definitely more ascended this is really, really good energy for you guys. Maybe not surrounding you, but I don't think that you're going to pay attention to it. Okay, you're blocking it out is what I feel here. Some of you could be single, absolutely, with that yellow blanket there or dress on the side. Three of Swords, yeah. Some healing. Yeah, there's definitely some dramas, relationship dramas here. Game over. Right here on the side. Okay, so that's the intro, and that is heavy. So we're going to see how it works for each and, each and every one of you, okay? 
So I will be doing Taurus first, then we will go on to Virgo, and then we'll do Capricorn. So marinate on this energy, don't forget it, and um, I'll see you guys on the flip side. All right, bye-bye. Taurus, welcome back. All right, welcome to Majestic Notion. So hopefully you guys already saw the intro there um, because it's going to tie in here. So there were a lot of energies there, a lot of competition, a lot of drama, breaking free from, you know, karmic ties, some type of manipulator in your space, and, um, you know, learning a lot of lessons. So I'm going to start with my Buried Alive Phoenix Rising deck, because I feel like a lot of you are going through this very energy, and um, coming out good on the other side, regardless of, you know, all the drama, the storm, I feel. Definitely, I feel the storm brewing around you guys, but it's like it's not going to, you're going to break free from it, basically. You're not going to be affected in a negative way, even if it feels like you don't know when the storm is going to end for you, okay? You are coming out good on the other side. So we're going to see where you're at um, currently in the process of this you know, uh, some type of karmic tie that you have. So let's see what's going on for you guys. So this is my new Buried Alive deck. And um, it's not for sale yet, but I'll let you guys know when it's available. Just got to tweak a few things here and there, that's all. And one more shuffle for Taurus. Let's see what you guys are up to. What's going on? Where you're at in your process. And into the new year. What's happening? So we have 41 path. Which is number 5. So there's major change. After some major challenges. And there could still be some challenges. We did see the 5 of wands and the 5 of swords. So 555. Five, five, very significant for you guys. So it says, this is no walk in the park, but trust and have faith that it's leading you towards the things some can only dream of. All right, and you see the skeleton there, someone's crossing the bridge. Definitely a path of transformation here for you, for you guys. Oh, look at that, number 26, confidence. In silence, I move. I have built myself up again piece by piece. You won't even recognize me. So this is like king and queen of wands, king or queen of wands energy. Beautiful. Number 26 here could be significant, but this adds up to eight. All right. So I also feel like you're going towards making connections, deep connections, um, soul tribe energy here as well. So let's see. And, but there's somebody significant that you're connected to. We got that in the intro. Yeah, look at this. Frenemy. Number 49. Hmm. Um, sorry, I, I, I was thinking... I, I was thinking the death card because this adds up to 13. But um, this person cannot be trusted. Listen to your gut and follow your instinct. Ugh. Reptilian energy. I don't know if you guys didn't know anything about that, but I would look that up. Mm. So there's a friend of me in the mix, but I feel like it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You're on the right path, but somebody's looking at you. They don't like your ability to grow, stand up for yourself. Have self-love and self-worth and transform your life because they feel they can't do it okay this is uh somebody in your circle here projection number 74 it was just easier to blame you I was never the type to admit when I was wrong okay number 11 which adds up to two that tells me there was some type of duality, some type of reflection here. Maybe some triggering going on with whoever this was. Uh, they didn't like it. You're, you're 
if there's like a um, a saying that goes your something about your energy rub the, their demons the wrong way, you know, something like that. Self worth XOXO sixty one adding up to seven. From now on I give myself what I should have never looked in others, taking your power back. Beautiful hugs and kisses to yourself yes so definitely you have somebody in your circle that whether this was somebody you were with or you have a specific friend in your circle that is always projecting their negativity because this is somebody embodying traumas and negativity onto you trying to make you feel guilty and you had to have self-worth this is somebody you probably cared for quite a bit with from now on I give myself what I should have never looked for in others and now you're on the right path but they're still being a hater from what I see here okay so let's see what your energy is looking like okay let's see yeah yeah let's see what your energy is looking like with the this deck i'll be using my intergalactic tarot plus oracle what's going on with taurus my guides and then we'll get into who's looking at you and why all right Four of Cups. Uh, definitely, I feel like you let something go. Something was toxic. Something came into your life that was toxic. Okay? It could have been attraction, chemistry here. And then also on the flip side, I feel like you got bored with that. I feel you've had many types of connections like this. But you, this is finally the one that where you learned because I see you're on the right path now and I feel like also somebody comes out of the blue here okay that divine cup that comes out of nowhere so let's see here ten of wands who yeah that was heavy and it's probably this person driving you crazy okay I mean you finally had to just get all those wands off your back you were you were definitely your heart was in someone's hands and they did not take care of it correctly and um, you were very burdened by wh whoever this person was you were pulling all the weight yeah I mean if you look at these two cards male or female okay you just look so depleted I'm also getting like energy, vampire energy for some of you here. Five of Cups. Again, um, I think I said this in the water signs. It might have been for Pisces or Cancer, but um, in, in this deck, my intergalactic tarot plus oracle, this is like a cup where there was passion and attraction but it was not a good connection which we can see here with frenemy and projection but there's two cups here of healing and when you heal you line up to that energy that mirrors that same vibration so a lot of sadness here okay wow a lot of sadness so that's your current energy and you're thinking about this it's definitely was very heavy and it was sad but it's something you had to let go of definitely with that energy there yeah confidant friendship and protector so definitely Taurus is a sign that's very family oriented definitely very protective of the people that they love their friendships and is somebody you can confide in so that is your energy at this time okay I'm hearing save yourself so 
However it is that you act towards others, you need to do that to yourself. You need to save yourself as well, not just other people. Okay? From who are, Definitely from these types of connections, these types of people around you. Nine of Cups. Yeah, so you're going to have some type of wish fulfillment here. Or there's something you wish to have or attain or acquire. All right. Yeah, and I'm hearing cornucopia because there's so much like fruit here and finances, financial gains. We have a butterfly here. Page of Swords. So you could be watching someone or researching something about someone or something. Okay, that's what I see here. And it's online. Okay. So let's see who is looking at you and why. Now, in the intro, I meant to use the um, Lightseer's deck as well as my Intergalactic deck. So I'm going to use it here first, and then we'll get back into um, another deck. So let's see who is looking at you and why. One more shuffle for Taurus, my guys. Um, I was getting a movie reference for Cancer, and for some reason it's popping up again. Um, and it was What Dreams May Come with Robin Williams. I would definitely look at that. I feel like you're you could be aligning to someone like that. So either you have cancer in your chart or you're dealing with a cancer, I would look at the cancer reading for sure. Okay. And definitely I would watch that movie. It's it has to do with divine like a deep soul tie, soul connection. It was very sad, but beautiful. What a beautiful movie, my goodness. Oldie but goodie. So two of pentacles. So you have a couple people looking at you is what I'm getting here right away for who's looking at you and why. So let's see. Yeah, somebody wants to offer you something. This could be a career opportunity or a love offer, but it's something stable, something it's like the fruit of your labor. So whatever you've gone through will be you, you will receive a gift for that. Okay, so, so somebody wants to gift you something. There's also a choice here, is what I'm feeling. Yeah, Three of Pentacles. This could be work-related. Definitely working together with someone here. I definitely feel a new opportunity here. A lot of Pentacles here. It's all Pentacles. Uh, King of Wands. So this could be King or Queen looking at you. This could be, you know, friend, family someone in the in you know that wants to again give you some type of business opportunity this is somebody very ambitious um, this person could have a lot on their plate and they need help and they see you as someone that could really fit the position is what I see here so let's see what else the chariot yeah so this might involve traveling for business is what I'm seeing here. Um, but this is also forward movement. So you might have to see somebody here or somebody wants to come see you because this is people who are looking at you. Also with this card I always feel like there's somebody in the background because I do have the two of pentacles with the lion back here. Okay. So definitely there could be things coming in, opportunities in love and business. I'm also getting, if you get another passionate offer, be careful. Because we saw it here and we saw where that ended up. Okay? Ten of Wands. So follow your instinct. And like I said in the beginning in the intro, 
Take the lessons you've learned with you and leave what doesn't serve you. So remember that. All right. So let's see why these why this person or these people are looking at you and why. Let's see why else here. We're going to get into the Celtic tarot. I've been feeling these decks, this deck uh, for for whatever reason and it's because there are some other messages in here that spirit wants me to see here. So let's see and convey to you guys. So two more shuffles for Taurus. What's going on? Or who's looking at you and why? Yeah, there could have been some form of toxicity with um, that connection you were in. Or whatever friendship that was. That person did not have your best interest. Backstabber. Yeah. Okay. So, page of pentacles. Definitely a lot of pentacles here. So, this could be, you know, someone young looking at you someone that doesn't have much uh this could be a message for some of you an apology for who's looking at you and why someone looks like they're kind of i don't know they look kind of sad but <sighs> i'm hearing greed It's like, I don't know, I'm just feeling like somebody doesn't know how to pick themselves up. It's like there's something um, just toxic about this person looking at you. This could be the person that missed the opportunity. That maybe owes you an apology. That's what I'm picking up. So let's see what else we got. There you go, Ace of Pentacles again. So, if you have been working your butt off here, your ass off with the Ten of Wands, you're about to get relief with the Ace of Pentacles. There is some type of offer. Okay, so your hard work is paying off. There is a lot of Pentacles here. I almost feel like busting out the Pentacles deck. I might have to do that for you guys. Uh, Three of Cups. So you know what I see here? We have five of cups and three of cups, right? And remember I told you about the two of cups. So it's like three, four, five, two, two cups. There's definitely some type of union, some type of soul connection here, some type of um, meeting. Um, going out maybe having some drinks with with some people here celebrations also what I'm getting there for who's looking at you somebody wants to like have a good time with you take you out communicate um, spend some time here it's just good times yeah rebirth so somebody that went through a rebirth here could be looking at you. This is like a whole new... Somebody went through something here. It's like they're reborn. They're... Yeah, there's somebody significant coming into your space is what I'm feeling. You see in this card, their spirit back here. See that? You can barely see it because it's like shadowy. There are light beings back there. And you see the sun all the way at the end there. And there's like a block here because someone had to go through a rebirth before they can get through that passage. So now I'm hearing the rite of passage. So somebody has the rite of passage now to... I don't know. It's like an opportunity coming towards you 
So somebody's coming towards you that has gone through some type of rebirth and transformation. King of Cups, King or Queen, I mean, yeah, King or Queen, okay. So, <laughs> uh, wish fulfillment, yeah, there you go. <laughs> A lot of water there. And somebody's, um, yeah, open for business, willing and able, uh, letting it all hang out <laughs> emotionally, but, you know, obviously, you know, we're talking about love here. So, yeah, this could be a water sign, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, for sure. Um, it's like somebody's reborn and ready, ready for something new, and they see you as someone perhaps they want to be romantic with somebody that's been sitting on some feelings for for some time here i feel and this is your wish fulfillment coming in okay because you want some type of wish fulfillment here this is your energy nine of cups and then we have the king of cups king or queen so i'm i'm feeling like you're looking at someone and they're looking at you with the same emotions that's what i'm feeling there but this is like a connection of evolution because it's like we have the rebirth card here to somebody you would be overprotective about or you know protective of is that kind of person that you would want to guard and protect and love and that's what i'm feeling here let's talk about the page of swords yeah nine of pentacles so there's definitely someone you're looking at somebody you're interested in that is single independent happy happily so um this is a lot of self-worth she's naked okay so meaning definitely self-confidence here now i do see somebody in the back here with a hood again and you're here with a hood so i don't know if that's you watching of there's somebody else watching this person but you're definitely looking at someone and in the moon there's a woman as well if you can see that there okay so male or female yeah i just feel like uh definitely like <laughs> we're all naked here except for the baby right I'm definitely feeling that rebirth energy. It's like fresh and new. So, yeah, this person, like I said, you're watching somebody, but I feel like they're watching you as well. They have feelings for you. Or they would love this wish fulfillment with you. Okay, so let's take a look at my... Expressions of the Fall message medley deck. Let's get some messages here for you, Taurus. Let's see what this is all about. Let's break it down. Two more shuffles, my guide. Is that right? So I'm not feeling that. I gotta feel it right because these are, you know, messages have to come out right. Okay. Alright, let's see. Destiny is playing a big role here. Spirit influence. Aren't you lucky? So this is good. So you're being guided here. And we did we did have path. So you're being guided towards like the path less traveled, the path of faith. Believing in yourself. This person will be a very important part of your life. Protective, the good kind. Yeah. Wow, so you're being gifted something here. Okay. I feel this is a gift with the ace of pentacles. For everything that you've been through with the Ten of Wands, especially with whoever that frenemy was that was projecting negative energy towards you, triggering you probably as well. 
Um, so very important part of your life. It, this could be in love and business or business or both. Okay. If I had it my way, you would be here with me right now. So either you or this person is looking at you or you're looking at them wanting this union. Okay. With the three of cups. And yeah, there you go. Empath and empath connection. Mutual respect, healing energies with rebirth and confidant, friendship and protector. Beautiful. I love that. Nothing like this frenemy, reptilian, whoever this is. Ugly on the inside. Ugh. And time for rest and rejuvenation. Take it easy. Okay, so somebody could just, you know, they had that rebirth. Now they're resting and rejuvenating. That could be you as well. And let's see what else. Someone is curious about you. Yeah. <laughs> so you're definitely looking at somebody that's single or they're looking at you. All right. They are a gift. Nine of Pentacles with the Ace of Pentacles is the Ten of Pentacles. So there is someone circling you that will be a very important part of your life. And I feel you will probably end up in a some type of relationship. It could be work related and love related or um, because I do see a lot of work opportunity here with someone that you either want to work with or they want to work with you. Um, but there could be, you know, a lot of chemistry too with the King of um, Wands here. Undeniable chemistry, but it's not like what you had here with the past person. It's There's more to it with the rebirth here and empath and empath connection. So, mutual respect and healing energies. Beautiful. Okay, Taurus, that's what I have for you guys. It's looking good to me. You definitely went through the ringer. It was a tough year, 2020, for you guys. But it, it had to do with somebody in your space. You see how detrimental one person in your space could be? Or a few of them, as we saw in the intro with the Five of Swords, you know. And the five of wands, a lot of people around you that were not good for you. Um, yeah, 2021, it's time to shed all of that. Take the lessons learned and leave behind what doesn't serve you, for sure. Uh, but you're, you're definitely, you're going to meet a lot of other people. And you're going to have new opportunities. And definitely there's someone here in love that you probably would like to meet, get to know or vice versa, or mutually as well, I'm feeling. Whether you're looking at them online or, you know, somebody that you met recently. Um, yeah, that's what I see coming into the new year. So, all right, guys, let me know in the comments if anybody resonates. And um, I definitely see some travel here for business as well. And, yeah, that's what I got. So, I'll be doing Virgo next. So if anybody has Virgo in their chart or you, you're you connecting with a Virgo or you're just curious because sometimes it could resonate, um, you're more than welcome to join me there. Okay, guys, I will talk to you later. Happy New Year and lots of luck, love, and light to all of you. All right, bye-bye. Virgo, welcome back. Welcome to Majestic Notion. So, hopefully you guys already saw the intro. A lot of energies there. A lot of competition. A lot of, like, drama surrounding your energy there. The Queen of Pentacles did come out in the intro. But it's almost like it's because you're, like, focusing on, you know, yourself and your abundance, your money. And there's some type of energy around you. Competition, naysayers, haters, like... All types of energies that you could be shedding at this time, walking away from as well. And I don't know, I feel like for you in your new year, you, you, you will have some type of wish fulfillment. 
and I feel like that's what's coming in. So I wanted to start with my Buried Alive, Rising of the Phoenix, number 13, the Death Series deck, to see what your energies are like, what you're overcoming, if, you know, spirit has anything to tell you here. Um, this is a very empowered deck, so we're going to see what that's like for you. So let's get into that. Into January, the new year, finally. I just want to let 2020 go. <laughs> let it perish and dissipate. It's pretty heavy for a lot of people. So, two more shuffles for Virgo. Let's see what you're currently going on and uh, going through. And uh, what's coming into your new year. What you're overcoming here. Let's see. Or about to overcome for some of you. All right, spirit, talk to me. <clears throat> Is that... Sorry, guys, got to make sure I get this right. So, there we go. Perfect. Thank you, spirit. Thank you. All right. Ooh, silence. I am in agony of the things I have yet to express. All right. So number 36, 369. 369. Wake up call. When we continue to run, we eventually run out of time or run out of road. Mm. So somebody's been quiet, Virgo. I feel like somebody was a runner. They never told you something, how they felt or... You know, and they're in agony over it too. It's like they just can't express it and they hate the fact that they, they ran and they couldn't express it. It still haunts them. Okay. Yeah, comprehend. Everything I thought I knew about myself and connections has been turned upside down. I am left I'm only left with more questions. Oof. Okay. Enclosure. I understand that not every question needs an answer and not every answer will suffice. I move forward in knowing that I am enough. Okay, number 60. Pain. <laughs> As I sit in pain, guilt, and remorse, I am reminded of the things I cannot change. Number 68. Mm. wow so somebody here it's like you move forward I feel like you're this closure card maybe you needed closure at some point but now you don't and you're moving forward knowing that you know even if you had an answer it probably wasn't what you wanted to hear anyways so you're moving forward knowing that you are enough and we saw this in the intro okay and somebody here you turn you threw somebody for a loop you know, their world was turned upside down when they met you. They silenced whatever was going on within them. They ran. Okay. And they, they still run. They still haven't faced the music is what I see here. And they're sitting in pain and regret and remorse and guilt for the things they cannot change. They're running out of time here. Okay. Um, but with closure here, I feel that chapter is done. You, you closed it. You moved on. Basically. Okay, so let's see how else is your ener energy looking like here. See what else is going on with you, Virgo, and then we'll get into who's looking at you and why. Okay, if there's anyone aside from this person, or what else do they have to say about it. Okay, but let's see what your energy is like at this time, or going into the new year. January 2021. One more shuffle. And I haven't been getting a lot of music for these. Okay. And I keep hearing that song by Queen Latifah. U-N-I-T-Y. Unity. I don't know why. 
So Ace of Wands, maybe you're get going to union with someone new. We do have the Ace of Wands. This is a new romantic relationship or a new career path. A lot of passion here. Somebody could be, this is your energy. You could be feeling a little passionate right now. Um, or you're starting some type of new business deal or business endeavor. Endeavor, excuse me. The hangman. Yeah, I'm just feeling like there, there might be some kind of passionate thoughts going through your mind right here. But maybe you're 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 trying to figure someone new out as well. Okay? It's what I'm getting here. I'm off to a flame. We have the butterfly and then we have a flame. Maybe there's somebody you're looking at, perhaps, trying to figure out. Trying to see what they're all about. Yeah, we have music, vibration, frequency, and atonement. Yeah. The, so you're feeling, so you're picking up on someone's vibe and you're trying to figure it out. Um, some type of frequency, energy. There's an energy you're picking up on. It feels very passionate. Let's see what else we got. Five of Wands. Definitely there's that competition again. So there could be someone you're attracted to, but there is competition when it, around this person. There's like somebody else around this person. Um, also, there could be something that either makes you upset that maybe you're trying to understand it's almost like you're picking up on someone's vibe you want them to maybe notice you but they keep dealing with someone else that's not good for them it's almost something like that forbidden passion yeah look at that chemistry and attraction yeah there's somebody you're really feeling I knew I was picking up that energy but it's like there's someone else in the mix and you know it and maybe you're wondering is this the one is this my person with the ace of wands I can tell you that yes you guys are picking up on each other's vibe is what I feel but it's forbidden because they're dealing with something here also if we're talking about this person that's definitely forbidden because there's something new here okay most definitely with the five of wands and you're it's a vibrational match with mu with vibration and frequencies here um this person could be a musician or you as well we are talking about your energy and you could be musically inclined i'm hearing like um focus on a skill that you really like or pick or or want to pick back up i feel like definitely the time is now because there could be opportunities coming to you in 2021 so brush up on any skills you feel would it is calling you yeah knight of swords yeah there's some somebody you saw something that's making you upset and it has to do with someone that you feel very drawn to and attracted to is what i feel and if somebody is giving you a hard time that's in this person's life, it's like you ain't having it. You're going to tell them exactly where to go and, and what to do. <laughs> that's what I'm getting there. Okay? And it could be this person that you're just like, no, I'm not talking to you. This passion is forbidden. I'm done. You know? There's somebody new around you or that you're focused on. So let's see with that energy. Let's see who's looking at you and why. Let's try to get what's going on here. Get to the bottom of this. Because I got to understand it too. So let's see. We're going to use the light sears first. To see who's looking at you and why.
And this could be a future energy coming into January. There could be something that you see that's going to make you a little upset because there's competition. When it comes to someone you either attracted to, want to, want to date, or something like that. So this could be a future energy in January. Let's see. Who's looking at you and why? Okay, so we have somebody here that is in a whole new beginning wanting to take this leap of faith with you, with the fool. So somebody definitely wants to begin something new with you with the Ace of Wands here and the Fool. So this could be the person you're looking at that you feel this draw, this passion towards. Six of Swords. Yeah, whoever this was, they went through it. And they're ready to go through two calmer waters. Okay, they're, they were learning some lessons here. And definitely I feel like that lesson was learned. So somebody wants to come to you. I feel like there's some distance here with the Six of Swords. And they do want to take that leap of faith. But I am feeling the energy of somebody else surrounding that person. And that's why they haven't gone to you yet. That's you. But, you know, it, it's you as far as the earth. But we're talking about people looking at you and why, male or female, there's a Queen of Pentacles looking at you. Okay, and we don't know if this is upright or reverse, so we're going to clarify here, because it could be a gold digger, maybe that's who's surrounding your person here that you're looking at, or the person you want or are attracted to, someone coming into your life for sure. Let's see who else. We have the Ace of Swords. So whoever's looking at you wants to say something, and this is coming out of the blue. Okay. Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Page of Wands. Yeah. There's definitely a message, a flirty message here. I'm also feeling, though, that there's somebody immature here. And, of course, you know, it could be the past person with that Page of Wands. But definitely I'm feeling there's a message. There's some type of message coming in that perhaps puts you in a more um, serene space. It, it like it clears any doubts that you have is what I'm feeling. So let's see. Let's get into the Celtic tarot that I've been feeling lately for who's looking at you and why. Let's clarify this. One more shuffle. Okay. We're going to have to do one more. Whatever. It is. There's a hot mess going on over here. Let's do one more shuffle, my guides. But we oh, look. The sun with the empress. So some of you, maybe you're having a child or somebody's trying to get pregnant here. And it could be the person around the... Oh, that could be it. Okay, let's see. It could be somebody around this person that's learning lessons that tries to get pregnant. Or or you're going to be a future mama for some of you in 2021. Let's see what's going on. This is curiosity here. Oh, yes. <laughs> Who's looking at you and why? Damn. This person is super passionate about you. You see what he's sitting on there? <laughs> he got a wand in his hand. He's like, yep, I know where I'm going. Virgo, your lightest person on fire. Vice versa, though, I'm feeling. So, what you seek is seeking you. Rummy, absolutely. They're coming. <laughs> In more ways than one. <laughs> oh my goodness. Self-pleasure, I'm feeling there as well. In your name. Okay. Oh my goodness. Ace of Wands. Virgo. <laughs> yeah, you can't get this person out of your head. And neither can they. 
I'm feeling a lot of twin flame, ignited flame here. This has been forbidden for some time. Okay? There's a, like a lot of like frustra sexual frustration going on here. My goodness. Pa yeah, Page of Cups. Definitely some kind of message coming your way. Music, vibration, and frequencies. They're picking up what you're putting down and vice versa is what I'm feeling here. Mm -hmm. I'm hearing, can you feel the love tonight? I had to get music with that card there. Da -da 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 -da. There's a romantic encounter in 2021 for sure. And it's going to knock your socks off. It's extremely passionate. You always get like passionate readings. I love it. They're like super passionate. So like, like, um, romance novel. Passion. I love it. <laughs> Five of Wands. Ooh, yeah. There's somebody else here. Definitely that person that's sitting in remorse and regret. They're here. You have two kings here with the Five of Wands. This is someone new. This could be the person you're watching, but they're, they were dealing with somebody here. But they're moving on from that. They're, the fire burns for you, darling. Okay? But apparently somebody else is here too, but they were a runner. Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Male or female. Nine of Wands. Yeah. <laughs> The struggle is real with that nine of wands. It's like, damn it. This person went through hell. And is going through hell. With all this fire. Because they just can't have you right now. It's like, the weight is real here. I'm also feeling like, Two people going to try to vie for your attention. We got that in the intro where there was like competition. And it's like it's it's been forbidden for some time for both these kings. This passion, this chemistry, this attraction. And like it, it's, it's definitely, it's hot up in here. Okay. Oh, we got another king. Damn. <laughs> King of Cups. Um, you might want to look at the Cancer reading. I was picking up the Three Kings energy. And there's Three Kings here. Um, you know, January 6th, there could be a message here. January 6th is the celebration of the Three Kings that were witness to the birth of Jesus Christ. But also, I, I in Cancer, I also saw it as... Someone's becoming the emperor before they come into your life. So that could be very significant here. But there's a battle between these kings going on. And it's some. It, there's passion, love, and some type of mental connection here. Could be mental manipulation with one of them because we saw that here. Someone's not done with you yet. And then there's two other people here. Um, but also I'm seeing this as somebody was really battling with logic, this person in the past. With the five of wands and the king of swords, they were really battling with understanding this and they were trying to do it in a logical manner. And that's why we have the comprehend. Everything I thought I knew about myself and relationships has been turned upside down. I'm only left with more questions. So somebody tried to be logical about it. They were silent. They ran. And now they're sitting in pain because you, they can't forget you. And they're trying to understand why. Especially if you guys never had a relationship. It's like, why did I fall for this person? I don't even, I don't even know Virgo like that. You know, you came into this person's life and it was like... What the hell? So you could have had some type of, you know, soul bond, soul tie. Or they were just very attracted to you. But I feel like if you're that 
unforgettable and you went through this um you know well well for some of you you could have went through um some kind of um awakening but that's not going to be for everybody okay it's just somebody from your past cannot forget you they ran but the reason i say that is because of the comprehension card like you just really you touch this person in a way that nobody else did and they're still here they're still looking and you know somebody's battling with themselves also because they can't have you they ran but they feel this energy they this passion but there's somebody else here feeling the passion okay and somebody has emotional feelings towards you so there's definitely a battle for your attention somebody wants this they want to get it in with Virgo ace of wands especially this king of wands with the ace of wands here I feel like that's the one you're looking at so we have Scorpio Pisces Cancer Leo Aries um, Sagittarius and Gemini Libra or Aquarius we can also have to we have them all here Taurus Virgo Capricorn so good lord <laughs> so let's get into some messages here because I'm, I'm dying to know what's going on <laughs> all right we're going to use my expressions of the fall message medley deck so Pisces also was like so much competition everybody's raising the vibration and attracting just attraction is hot you guys are no exception one more shuffle my guides for Virgo <laughs> I always get that song hot like fire you take me higher Aaliyah mm -hmm. Opportunities will be knocking soon. Get ready. Yep. Definitely. Secret getaway. A time for getting to know each other on a deeper level. Woo! Sexy time with the Ace of Wands here, Virgo. Huh. Somebody wants to get you on it. They want to get to know you on a deeper level, all right. Mm-hmm. Definitely. springtime love is in the air so somebody wants to maybe play some music in your ear around the beach in springtime so springtime Virgo look for it and there's always love in the air in spring so that's a perfect time to get to know one another wishy-washy has difficulty with making concrete decisions yeah that's this past person that ran I told you the struggle was real with this one when it came to trying to figure you out and trying to figure out what he was gonna do with what he was feeling with you he was wishy-washy he or she okay let's talk about this forbidden passion and attraction here oh yeah the choice is yours <laughs> follow your intuition oh yeah you're gonna need it <laughs> Virgo your hot commodity most definitely people are gonna be fighting over you with this nine of wands hopefully not physically but you yeah you're gonna be like where did it, or where is all this attention coming from it's like a lot of people have been going through this like dry spell or you know this moment of self-discovery and evolution and growing and healing so we haven't really been dealing with anybody else you know hermit mode type of energy and then it's like all of a sudden they come out of the woodwork and I had a dream similar to that where you know you it was like I was outdoors and we opened the gates to this like 
outdoor event and slowly but surely you started seeing people and all of a sudden it was like the floodgates were open and I was getting phone calls like hey somebody needs to close the gates there's too many people here we're not you know <laughs> people are getting antsy it, it's that kind of energy it's weird all right yeah lips mac I can't wait to kiss you and I don't know if you noticed but it's the king of cups he's uh open for business willing and able bearing it all just for you <laughs> okay I don't know who this is <laughs> But they want to tell you how they feel. You got three kings here. The choice is yours. Follow your intuition. So if you think you've been lonely, they've been watching you. All right. Unbeknownst to you, somebody's been watching. You know, you could know who one of these are or two. I mean, obviously, we know the one in the past, obviously, that you dealt with. But one of these other two kings, uh, maybe it's a friend of yours that you never knew would tell you something. For some of you, maybe somebody you're going to work with. Um, but I can tell you this, <laughs> this king wants, hey, no joke. <laughs> and opportunists with opportunity will be knocking soon. Get ready. <laughs> Somebody is ambitious and they go after what they want and they get it. This is an opportunist and a very attractive, attractive one, okay? And just saying, the Ace of Wands is here, so <laughs> he aims to please, okay? Most definitely. This is a very confident person. I just feel like you ain't going to be able to resist whoever this is, okay? They're going to throw on the, they're going to lay it on thick. They're going to throw on the charm. Because they, they go after what they want. With this energy, they ain't playing around. <laughs> so you might have, you know, some encounters here. Hey, maybe one of them is, you know, the right one for the tune-up. <laughs> the other one is the right one to get your anger out on. And the other one is, well, they're more romantic, more emotional. The choice is yours. Follow your intuition. Good Lord. You got these people all messed up <laughs> over you. Seven of, I mean, nine of wands. <laughs> somebody, you got to say yes to somebody here. Wow. All right, Virgo. <laughs> I wouldn't expect anything less. It's hot. It's hot. So let me know in the comments if anybody resonates with that. For some of you, of course, you're not going to see a lot of these coming, okay? This could be through the year. Not all, all of it's going to happen in January. But for some of you, hey, you never know. You might start getting some phone calls, some messages. And sometimes it's even from people that we wouldn't even expect from our past even. Um, so not just the person that ran from you. It could be anybody, all right? But definitely there's some someone new, most definitely. And they go after what they really want, and it's you. Yeah, he got a one-track mind, and that's you. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. That's what I got for you. I love this energy, though. Um, it's a, Something's going to come out of the blue here. All right. Well, Happy New Year to you guys. Some of you going out with a bang, I'm telling you. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> or you're entering the year with a bang. <laughs> one, one or the other. Um, all right. <laughs> I'm going to leave that energy there. Love you guys. Lots of luck to you in 2021. Um, you know, keep smiling. Keep shining. <laughs> Knowing you can always count on me to deliver um, these messages. Okay. And um, love you all. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. All right, Capricorn, welcome back. Welcome to Majestic Notion. So, I hope you guys already watched the intro. Very interesting. A lot of energy surrounding Earth. Um, Earth signs, of course. A lot of fives, five of swords, five of wands. A lot of competition. A lot of, like, naysayers. 
I mean, we had a lot of energy going on there. So, and a lot of, like, I just see earth signs in their power while the storm is swarming around you. That's what I was seeing, okay? So, we're going to use my Buried Alive, my new Buried Alive um, Rising of the Phoenix, number 13, the Death Series deck. Okay, this is a very empowering deck, as I said, I believe, in the intro. And, um, yeah, we're going to see where you're at in your ascension or your situation, uh, what spirit wants to tell you, you know, um, or who's thinking about you still, you know, who's affected by meeting you, or if anybody did you dirty or anything like that, we're going to see. So let's get into that, and then we're going to get into your energy, as well as who's looking at you and why. So let's see what's going on here. One more shuffle. Let's see Capricorn. What we got. Okay, so we have inner standing. I am starting to feel like myself again, only wiser, stronger, and more aware than ever before. Number 16 could be significant. That adds up to 7. So I'm definitely feeling like uh, you have been divinely guided as well. Um, obviously we're, we're almost like getting back to normal here with this, um, like skeleton, but with flesh, you know, like you're recovering from something, heartbreak, um, that's what I'm seeing here. Let's see what else we have. Yeah, the release, swallow in your emotions and feel the burn for this is how you set yourself free. Mm-hmm. Number eight. So we have seven and eight. So following suit. And number twenty. Yeah, look at that. Following suit, number 27, adds up to nine. So we have seven, eight, and nine. Self-care. I give myself the time, space, and nurturing that is needed for my mind, body, and soul. Very nice. Yes. We're letting some things go. Yes, leaving that 2020 energy behind. Entering a new energy here. That's good. Okay. Denial. It's hard to admit to myself that I am my own worst enemy. Number 86. Whew. One more. Number 6. Yes, soul evolution. The light of day that you are used to will never be the same. It will be much lighter and brighter, filled with endless possibilities and new opportunities. Yes, Capricorn. There could be someone here that is their own worst enemy if they were in denial. Or this could be, you know, how you were in the past, but now you're understanding. You're letting go of something here. You're releasing it. Uh, this could be dramas, um, people in your past, a specific connection. And you're taking care of yourself. You're evolving. Okay? So let's see what your current energy is like. I like it. So that's what's happening here. Let's see what your energy is looking like. Capricorn. One more shuffle. Okay, so I'm thinking about the sun. And I'm thinking about the east coast. And I'm thinking about how the east... You ever heard peace in the Middle East? It's because the east is considered to be paradise. Um, and where Christ was born. Okay? The east... So something about the East Coast. And that's also where the sun rises. So 
So definitely the light of day that you're used to will never be the same. It will be much lighter and brighter, filled with endless possibilities and new opportunities for your life. So a lot of you are like, it's like your rebirth, your redemption, your new beginning with soul evolution and, and what I was just picking up. Yeah, enchantress, alluring, mystical, and charming. This is your energy. So I feel like you're you're definitely in your power here, feeling good. Feeling like yourself. Self-care, inner standing. Ooh, forbidden passion, chemistry, and attraction. Virgo just had this card as well. So something has been like locked out of your life, I feel, or you just cut someone out could be this person that's in denial here they were their own worst enemy ten of cups oh what's that now there could be somebody you're watching capricorn because we're talking about your energy you're like the forbidden fruit here okay is what i'm seeing here enchantress alluring mystical and charming with forbidden passion chemistry and attraction there could be someone you're attracted to that you see like your ten of cups this is like, you know, the perfect balance, right? Abundance. And it could be, since you're evolving, you're having soul evolution, this could definitely be a spiritual connection. But it's like the, the evolution has to happen before this could be unlocked and you guys could come together. It's what I'm feeling. Let's see what else we got. Four of Cups. You could be bored right now. Okay, I just feel like you guys have been in hermit mode for some time. You've been evolving. You've been, you know, internalizing a lot because there's a lot of internal changes with soul evolution. So it's like maybe you're feeling a little handsy, a little wanting to break free as well. Also, I feel like somebody just comes out of the blue or came out of the blue for you guys. And it's like, wow. It's definitely, I mean, Ten of Cups here. This is good. This is also being happy, surrounded by good people, your family. Um, feeling abundant. Okay. Giving yourself that unconditional love with the Ten of Cups. All right. We have Temperance. Going with the flow. Having patience with yourself. Okay. We have that flow between the hot and cold. And I'm also feeling, because this speaks of eternity, right? It's that endless flow. And it speaks of unions of, you know, passion and love. But it's all in divine timing. And that's what I'm feeling here. Divine timing when it comes to this connection. It's going to be very steamy with the hot, with the fire and water here. I mean, if you see in the back, there's a lot of fog, like the steam from the fire and the water. And it's like getting your wings again after all of this, you know, bearing it all, bearing your soul, evolving. And that's what, uh, that's what brings in this divine cup. It's like it comes out of nowhere. The emperor. Yes, definitely. So this is your energy stepping up to the emperor. Very good. Okay, but what I see is it's just be patient with yourself and go with the flow because you're meant to evolve to this. Okay, male or female when it comes to the emperor. And I do see spirit here and I do see temperance as spirit as well. We have some gold hands back here holding on to your shoulders. Some of you need a nice massage as well for sure. Self-care, you could be going to a masseuse here. Or do you need that? Okay, there could be a lot of tension around the shoulder, neck area for some of you. Or in the mid-back where your shoulder blades are at. I don't know why I'm getting that, but that's what I'm getting. <laughs> okay, so let's see who's looking at you and why, Capricorn. Let's get into that energy. All right. We're going to start with the Light Seers deck. Oh, 
four shuffles, my guys, for Capricorn. Who's looking at Cappy and why? Two more shuffles. The Emperor is not a bad energy to evolve into. So in 2021, you're going to be definitely in your power. And with the Emperor and the Ten of Cups, yeah, you're definitely on your way to your, an abundant lifestyle, living your best life. Okay, just be patient with your patient with yourself. So let's see who's looking at you and why. Ooh. So whoever was in denial here um, is still looking at you. Okay, it's hard to admit that I am my own worst enemy they're heartbroken and also what I'm getting here is there could be someone looking at you that is going through some healing so let's see Ooh, the tower I mean, damn the tower with the it's like you ripped this person's heart or something shocking here is coming maybe somebody had an epiphany that you they will never see you again yeah missed opportunity divine intervention for sure here okay so they had to take you away from somebody we have four cups twice i feel like this forbidden passion there's somebody coming out of the blue here it's that divine cup that you know we have a rainbow coming out of this cup usually it comes out of the sky and it's here and you see the hand it's it's like someone's handing you their cup and they placed it in your hand you, it, I just feel like two people coming together and it's like whoa like I wasn't expecting that so somebody's coming to you yeah we have the past six cups this is a past life connection or soulmate this could be also someone from your past definitely missed the opportunity here and they're still looking at you six of wands Okay, so there is, I feel, someone that is very admired here with the Six of Wands. Uh, they're looking at you. They could be looking at you this way. They admire you. But I do sense that this person could be someone that, you know, has a following. They're, they're, they're admired for their gifts or talents or, you know, has made some type of name for themselves um but also what i'm getting here is the person in your past could have been on a high horse and they got dropped on their ass because we had a divine intervention and it completely ripped this person's heart apart <laughs> okay they didn't see that coming for sure <laughs> you know and i don't mean to laugh but i don't know who this was in your life but they were in denial okay they were their own worst enemy. They messed this up somehow. So let's see what else we got here when it comes to who's looking at you and why. Let's see what this is all about. Let's decode this with the Celtic Tarot. One more shuffle. let's see oh the magician well maybe for one of you someone that's interested in you is actually a magician but that's maybe for one of you but what I see here is there is someone that has the power of manifestation they understand it and they want to manifest something with you it's almost like they feel like they manifested you it's like cop how <laughs> enchantress alluring mystical and charming it's like you came out of nowhere and you're like the perfect specimen for this person okay so 
we'll see let's we'll see what that's about but someone definitely is looking at you like they manifested you into their life okay queen of wands is someone looking at you so male or female and this is that passion that forbidden passion chemistry and attraction so they feel this as well you feel it they feel it okay for sure okay I'm hearing and the beat goes on and the beat goes on and they're dancing on top of a record la -di -da -da -di. La -di -da -di -da. so let's see what that's about Ooh, ace of pentacles yeah jukebox putting a coin in the jukebox it's time for a new song is what I'm hearing it's time for a new song and dance to a new beat. Oh, it's not. So somebody wants to make an offer here. Okay. For sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they see they see you as um they could be just as attractive. Again, this could be male, male, female, female, male, female connections okay so it's going to be different for everybody but i feel you manifested each other let's see what else yeah somebody went through a rebirth for sure so whoever you're meeting is also going through that soul evolution or they already have six of swords mm -hmm. you, you saw what i was saying about the east somebody's headed east the six of swords to paradise where the sun rises okay towards happiness and they see you as that they could see you as their twin flame here as very angelic um, but they feel connected guided and connected to you is what I'm feeling here And that's unity um, here. Someone coming into your space. Because you see here, okay, we have the sun here, right, at the horizon. And we have it here. But they were blocked from it till they went through this rebirth. So now that the rebirth is here, they get the rite of passage. So now they're on their way. All right. Now, I do see somebody hooded here, like somebody mysterious. So I feel like somebody's trying to sneak through the gates here okay into your world and it could very well be this past person because they were really heartbroken when you left or when you left them and let's see what else yeah knight of cups somebody wants to romance you they want to share this cup they want to take this um journey of love definitely so somebody and i see a stream here a stream here um, and I'm hearing that song, Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get some messages here. Somebody's happy. I feel like they broke free from some stuff too. It's coming to you. Two more shuffles. One more. What's going on for Capricorn? Let's talk about it. Let's get some messages for Capricorn. Somebody wants to manifest this connection, this passion. And the key to unlocking the door to this pathway, to this connection, was the healing, the soul evolution. Definitely. Yeah, <laughs> I can't make this shit up. Going through a spiritual awakening, ascension and enlightenment. Okay. I'm hearing, I got the power. 
Take a staycation. Just let it all hang out. Much needed. So somebody's letting it all hang out here. They're just like going through awakening and it could be you or them though. And just kind of, you know, allowing yourself to be you. Especially around the holiday time. It's a time for relaxation, family. Just kind of, you know, not stressing over anything too much. So that's good. Yeah, time for rest and rejuvenation. Take it easy. There you go. With the Ace of Pentacles. So, so I feel like somebody's flipping a coin. Heads or tails. Heads or tails is, is what I'm feeling. Um, they're resting on this decision. This because Ace of Pentacles to the to the Ten of uh, Cups. Okay, jackpot. They got a piece of the treasure at the end of this rainbow. Okay, so they were shown that there's more where that came from, but they had to go through the soul evolution, and so did you. And this is the offer. Okay, you put in an effort for soul growth, and God provides the rest as you walk this path and believing in your path that's what i see here and you both are doing this so that's great yeah i need you to stop being so enticing thirsty for you yes definitely somebody is thirsty for you this is your soulmate past life connection yeah, that's double confirmation. We have it here with the Six of Cups. It's coming to you. And with Temperance, it could be Twin Flame Energy as well. And definitely this person's not going to bring you any drama. They're, you know, Six of Swords. They learned a lot. Okay? Whether they're new or, or somebody here that had to really go through some shit in your past before they came to you. Oh, look at that. Many suitors choose wisely and you know why because when you get to this emperor status you're going to be in your power all right you already have someone here that wants to be by your side they want to go on this romantic um you know journey with you but you have many suitors a lot of people like evolving and like just attracting attracting some a lot of energy towards them so you're no different you're gonna have many suitors um, so if you want a relationship which would embody the Emperor the Emperor is the husband someone with an empire you know and I could see it here um, with the ace of Pentacles and the ten of cups is you know somebody that's showing up for themselves they're making a name for themselves especially with the six of wands and um, is going to attract a lot of energies towards you so choose wisely okay because definitely somebody wants to be with you romantically they find you very enticing but they're going through a spiritual awakening meaning this is not about a narcissist coming into your life this is someone that's going through an awakening when they come to you they're coming to you correct with good intentions okay if it's not resonating for someone out there, it's not for you. Okay, don't 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 try to rearrange or pick it apart. If it doesn't click right away for you, then it's not your reading, okay? So that's what I have for you, okay? Um, I know I'm saying okay a lot. It's like Yeah, I just see definitely somebody probably wants to explore this maybe you guys live close because it says take a staycation and just let it all hang out much needed um, but they could be resting while they're going through a spiritual awakening this could be you and you could also be resting both of you could be resting because there's a rebirth going on here with this rebirth card and you are connected it is a soul connection for some of you it's a soulmate, others of you it's a twin flame. 
um, but you do have many suitors so there could be a knight of cups trying to get in the mix here but they're a knight so they could just be younger inexperienced but what I see is that somebody else is coming and it's the right person so you you, you have options anyways but I feel like one is really gonna shock you come out of the blue and I feel like you came out of the blue for this person so I've been picking up that energy a lot all right Capricorn that's what I got for you guys let me know in the comments if anybody resonates and um, happy new year lots of love and light wish you all the best in 2021 and choose wisely okay um, I, it's looking good so far all the that heavy energy is behind you so let's start off on the right foot and um, I mean it's coming something something's coming to you okay love you guys and I'll talk to you later bye bye